the city of Asheville, located in the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina, about two and a half hours uh, northwest of Charlotte. It's a population of 85,000. We go to about 120,000 during the day because it's a tourist destination. When I got to the city of Asheville, I said, do we have a disaster recovery center? And the answer was yes. And I said, hooray. And they said, well, it's two blocks away. And I said, boo. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Feldman. I'm the Chief Information Officer for the City of Asheville, North Carolina. Typically, IT in a local government is serving the internal departments, right? We're an internal service department. It's the line departments are the ones that provide the citizen services. In recent years, we, we solved a bunch of problems for disaster recovery by starting to use AWS because it's very important to have geographic uh, diversity with disaster recovery because you don't want to be in a Hurricane Sandy situation where uh, you, you may have contracted with a provider for disaster recovery services, but oh, by the way, no one has power, no one has fuel, everyone's underwater, and it's a big problem. Um, so. Uh, AWS in that case has solved the business problem of, of having more geographic diversity at, at a relatively low cost. For disaster recovery, we're using EC2 and EBS for our award-winning Priority Places application. It's an economic development tool that allows economic developers and site selection consultants to really target in on, on what would make a great site. And that's important because you want to be a very attractive place so that large businesses want to relocate and bring jobs to your community. That's using S3, EBS, EC2. We don't really think of AWS as an achievement. We think of getting the business problem solved.